Welcome to Mike Ferry TV. My name is Tony Smith, the Vice President of the Mike Ferry Organization, and I'm excited to be here with you today. This is the week of the 21st of February, 2022. Man, time flies. You know, I've got an interesting little topic that I want to cover today in, in Mike Ferry TV. And, you know, this is a proven technique that if you're in coaching, you've maybe experienced this with your coach. Uh, you may have experienced this through what Mike Ferry's teachings, those kind of things. But what about creating an action plan for yourself? Creating an action plan for yourself. Now, I'm not talking about the plan of action that you would present to a seller. Here's what I'm going to do to get your home sold. I'm talking about an action plan for you. Think about it. Here we are on the, you know, the, tw the week of the 21st. There's about 30 work days, if you just work Monday through Friday, between today and the end of the first quarter. Think about it. March 31st, end of the first quarter. There's about 30 work days. Okay. Question for you. To be on track with your listings taken on the 31st of March, how many listings do you need to take between today and then? Think about it, okay? So let's say you had a goal to take 36 listings this year. You had a goal to take 36 listings. And let's say you've taken three so far, all right? If you look at the math, in order to take 36, right, you have to consider being at 12 by the end of the first quarter, right? You've taken three, you've gotta take nine more, right? Is that right, okay? So you, you, what, the first thing you have to consider for yourself is locking in how many listings do I take, need to take to get back on track? What if you're already on track? If you're already on track, then you can make an action plan to stay there or maybe it's an opportunity to, to push things forward. But creating a small little action plan for yourself has so much power. And, and if you can put that action plan in the context of what we talk about a lot at the Mike Ferry organization, mindset, skills, activity, action. What if you were to create a little action plan for yourself from today through the end of March, which is the end of the first quarter? And if you were to say, okay, what do I need to do from a mindset perspective in this 30 work days? Okay, could be things like, I'm going to read this action plan that I put in writing. I'm going to read it every workday for 30 days. It could have things like, I'm going to create three or four powerful affirmations for myself, and I'm going to repeat, chant those affirmations every single day between now and the end of the first quarter. It could have things like, I've got two books I'm going to read. I'm going to read two books, two powerful books between now and the end of the first quarter. I'm going to read Think and Grow Rich or any of the other of thousands of great books that are out there to enhance our mind right? I'm going to put this goal of taking these listings. I'm going to be fully back on track with my listings taken, right? Uh, I've got six more to take between now and the end of the first quarter to be on track. I'm going to put that goal up in front of me and do a little countdown. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And I'm going to look at that number every day, right? And then part of this action plan skills. What are the things that I'm willing to do to really lean in hard on my skill set just from now to the end of the first quarter? Could I do something like write my listing presentation every single day for 30 straight days? Could I get two new role play partners and work on the, the just listed, just sold, and the for sale by owner script and master those two scripts in the next 30 days? Could I decide the next the two or three or four objections that are stopping me right now? And between now and the end of the first quarter, I'm going to memorize, rehearse, and internalize those objection handlers, right? You see where I'm going with this? A little action plan that has very specific uh, results in a short window of time. What about activities? Okay, I'm going to commit to making 30 contacts a day for 30 straight work days. And I'm going to set up some accountability. I'm going to report to my broker, to my coach, to an accountability partner. I'm going to set my, I'm going to box myself in. Uh, I'm going to gather every single lead that I have. I'm going to get all of my leads together and I'm going to set some time to speak to every single one of them in the next two or three or four days. And I'm going to ask them two questions. Do you still want to get that home sold? And when can we get together this week, right? If action plan, what if I took all the leads I had and I really, really put in some extra effort to convert those leads in a short window? What if on the activities you said, I am going to pre-qualify every single appointment more than ever 
There's no such thing as being overprepared. I'm going to do better research. I'm going to look at the comps before I go. I'm going to use Mike Ferry's five-step listing plan uh, program on every single listing appointment I go on in this short-term plan of action, just for 30 workdays. Right? And then what if you get into the idea, uh, the fourth part of it, which is the action part, right? Mindset, skills, activities, and action. So what if you created uh, in writing, you know, some action that you're going to take? I am going to set an accountability to get up 30 minutes earlier every day just for these 30 days. I'm going to change a habit. I'm going to get up earlier and I'm going to kick that off between now and the end of the first quarter. I'm going to track every single thing I do. I'm going to keep track of every number impeccably, impeccably from now to the end of the first quarter. You know, maybe things like I'm going to clean up my home. I'm going to clean up my office environment. I'm going to do some major deep cleaning to get this all cleaned out as part of this action plan. You see where I'm going with this, right? Could you set up for yourself? a little series of things, intense, right? Aggressive things that you could do and you'd be willing to do from today to the end of the first quarter, all with a goal of getting your listings taken fully on track or keeping them on track if you're already there between now and the end of March, okay? Now, Mike Ferry has, has used this. He's, coaches have used it with you. Uh, Mike Ferry has used this technique of creating a little mini action plan for yourself and it works like a charm if you'll do it. It works like a charm. So I would challenge you to create this and put it together, okay? Now what's required, okay? This plan requires a few things. It requires a dirty four-letter word. There's a four-letter, dirty four-letter word that this requires, W-O-R-K, work, okay? So are you prepared in this mini action plan to go to work maybe at the highest level ever? Why not? What else is there to do? right? It requires accountability. Do you need to set up and put yourself in a position where you are fully accountable to this action plan with your family, with your spouse, with your broker, with your manager, with accountability partners, with your coach? Why not create this little action plan with your coach to have that work? It requires a daily recommitment. You're going to literally need to resell yourself every day on this action plan for the entire time. Can you resell? Are you a good salesperson? I bet you're a good salesperson. If you're a good salesperson, can you resell yourself on this mini action plan every day? It requires a little sales presentation on yourself. You can do that, right? It requires starting at zero each day. There's a chance you might screw up your action plan. There's a chance that something will go wrong on a day. Can you recommit and start back at zero every day during this plan? If you can recommit and start back at zero, yesterday was either the best day of your career or it was a bad day or somewhere in between. But it doesn't really matter, does it? With an action plan, you have to learn to put that aside and move forward, read the plan, and start over again today. Okay? It requires blind faith. You might be doing some things that you haven't done before. I've never made 30 contacts a day for 30 straight days. Okay? It's going to require some blind faith. You're going to have to trust in the process. I wrote down, it's going to require no rear view mirror. It doesn't really matter what's happened in the past, does it? The past is the past. It's going to be what it's going to be. It doesn't really matter what happened back then. Can you see yourself putting a little mini action plan together, sharing it with everybody you want to share it with? Put that plan together, put your head down, put your back into it, and between now and the end of the first quarter 2022, take one big step in the right direction? Why not? Okay, let's have some fun with these thoughts. Let's see if a mini action plan can work for you in your business. Thanks for your time and thanks for paying attention to Mike Ferry TV.